Christina Estrinos, and right now in your 13 Action News update, a Nevada Supreme Court panel has rejected an appeal in a legal battle between UFC President Dana White and a Las Vegas man. The man went to prison for trying to extort White in a sex tape case. A lawyer representing Ernesto Joshua Ramos in a breach of contract lawsuit against White says he'll ask the full seven-member court to reconsider the decision. Now, in 2016, Ramos was sentenced to a year and a day in federal prison for the extortion attempt. Health officials are looking for COVID-19 antibodies and blood donations. Vitalant says when you donate blood, they can now check your plasma and alert donors of their status. Organization says antibodies and plasma can help COVID patients with weakened immune systems. The Downtown Vegas Alliance is hosting a free event today to highlight COVID murals. Artists came together to create inspirational works of art during the early stages of the pandemic. And when restrictions were lifted, the murals were then collected and preserved by the Arts District. They'll be on display today and you can check them out at South Commerce Street from 530 to 8 tonight. Now, the event is free, but you do have to reserve a spot. And we do have that information on KTMV.com slash links. <laughs> We've got one more day with a lingering breeze before some calmer conditions develop on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, but our Tuesday looks borderline breezy. Lots of sunshine. We start off early in the 50s. We'll finish up in the mid 70s, so a little milder than we have been. Check out our seven day forecast down to 52 tonight, 77 sunny and calm tomorrow. Thursday delivers the first official 80 degree day of the year. Friday is 89. That should actually set a new record high temperature. Saturday, in spite of some clouds, south breezes will push us toward the 90 degree mark, Kalina, for the first time this year. All right, Justin, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com, and our free mobile app.